Ezekiel chapter 7. Moreover, the word of the Lord came to me, saying, Also, son of man, thus saith the Lord God to the land of Israel, An end, the end has come upon the four corners of the land. Now the end has come upon you, and I will send my anger upon you, and will judge you according to your ways, and will lay upon you all your abominations. And my eye shall not spare you, neither will I have pity. But I will repay your ways upon you, and your abominations shall be in the midst of you, and ye shall know that I am the Lord. Thus saith the Lord God, an evil, behold, an only evil has come, an end has come, the end has come. It awakes against you, behold, it has come. The morning has come to you, O you who dwell in the land. The time has come, the day of trouble is near, and not the echo of the mountains. Now I will soon pour out my fury upon you and fulfill my anger upon you, and I will judge you according to your ways, and will repay you for all your abominations. And my eye shall not spare, neither will I have pity. I will repay you according to your ways and to your abominations that are in the midst of you, and ye shall know that I am the Lord who strikes. Behold the day, behold it has come, the morning has gone forth, the rod has blossomed, Pride has budded. Violence has risen up into the rod of wickedness. None of them shall remain, nor of their multitude, nor of any of theirs. Neither shall there be wailing for them. The time has come, the day draws near. Let not the buyer rejoice, nor the seller mourn, for wrath is upon all the multitude of it. The seller shall not return to that which is sold, although they were still alive. For the vision is about the whole multitude of it, which shall not return. Neither shall any strengthen himself in the iniquity of his life. They have blown the trumpet even to make all ready, but none goes to the battle. For my wrath is upon the multitude of it. The sword is outside, and the plague upon the famine inside. He who is in the field shall die with the sword, and he who is in the city shall be devoured by famine and plague. But those who escape from them shall escape, and shall be like doves of the valleys on the mountains, all of them mourning, each one for his iniquity. All hands shall be feeble, and all knees shall be weak as water. They shall also clothe themselves with sackcloth, and horror shall cover them, and shame shall be upon their faces, and baldness upon all their heads. They shall throw their silver in the streets, and their gold shall be removed. Their silver and their gold shall not be able to deliver them in the day of the wrath of the Lord. They shall not satisfy their souls, neither fill their bowels, because it is the stumbling block of their iniquity. As for the beauty of his ornament, he set it in majesty. But they made the images of their abominations and of their hateful things in it. Therefore I have set it far from them. And I will give it into the hands of the strangers for a prize, and to the wicked of the earth for a spoil, and they shall defile it. I will also turn my face from them, and they shall defile my secret place, for the robbers shall enter into it and defile it. Make a chain, for the land is full of bloody crimes, and the city is full of violence. Therefore I will bring the worst of the heathen, and they shall possess their houses. I will also make the pomp of the strong to cease, and their holy places shall be defiled. Ruin comes, and they shall seek peace, and there shall be none. Evil shall come upon evil, and rumor shall be upon rumor. Then they shall seek a vision from the prophet, but the law shall perish from the priests, and wisdom from the elders. The king shall mourn, and the prince shall be clothed with misery, and the hands of the people of the land shall be troubled. I will do it to them according to their ways, and according to their deserts, I will judge them, and they shall know that I am the Lord.